The AR deposit entry is to record the deposit paid by debtors, in other words, customers. The deposit can after that be used to settle the debt. In other words, used as one of the payment methods at AR receive payment. Unused deposit can be forfeited or refunded. This is not the same as AR refund entry. To perform AR deposit entry, you need to maintain a special account of deposit. To do that, go to GL Account Maintenance. So now, to create a new deposit entry, go to AR and click on AR deposit entry. Here, click new. Then, select a deposit account, for example, cash. Then, select a debtor. The debtor name will automatically be displayed. Attention would be the name of the person you wish to address. In description would be the description of the deposit. But if you wish to read this blank, you may do so. Then, right-click to add the payment method. Select the payment method. Then, key in the payment amount. Once done, click save. So if you could notice here, I have two outstanding deposits that yet to be used, which would be for Dr. A and Dr. B. Dr. A is the AR deposit that I have pre-created before recording the video. So now I will be using the Dr. A's payment details to perform how to use AR deposit in AR receipt payment. So to do that, go to AR and click on AR receipt payment. Click new, then select adapter. This case would be Dr. A. As you can see here, I've already created an invoice with an amount of 6,000. So now after selecting the debtor, select the payment method. In this case, I will choose the cash deposit. And here, if you can see, debtor A has already deposited an amount of 2,000. So select this amount and click OK. You can key in the balance payment in the same document or create another document. We will create another payment method under the same document. And key in the remaining amount, which would be 3,000. So once that's done, check the checkbox next to the knockoff date to knock off the deposit payment. Lastly, click save. Now using Dr. B's transaction details, I will show you how to forfeit or refund the deposit. So to do that, go to AR and click on AR deposit entry. Then, highlight the deposit and click view. Here you may notice two buttons, forfeit and refund. If you choose to forfeit, click on forfeit, then Click on the plus sign to add the forfeit amount. Select the forfeit account, in this case would be the account that you have created. Key in the description. Then, key in the forfeited amount. For example, 2500. So once done, click save. In this prompt message, click yes. So if you can see here, the deposit amount was 5000 and the forfeited amount would be 2500. So now the outstanding amount is 2500. To refund the remaining money, Click on refund, click on the plus sign to add the refund deposit, then click on the plus sign once again to select the payment method. Here, I will select cash, then key in the payment amount. Once done, click OK. Then click save. Click yes on the top message. So now, you can see the outstanding amount which is zero. You can also use AP Deposit Entry to record the deposit paid to the creditor. Similar to AR Deposit, AP Deposit can also be used to settle the debt. This would be the similar one used of payment method at AP Payment. The unused deposit can also be forfeited or refunded. Thank you.